Welcome to this course. In this course, you are going to learn all you need to know about Angular. You are going to start with an empty project and you are going to build the complete app from scratch. You are going to learn about a lot of concepts and Angular features. But if we were to group everything that you are going to learn into some categories, then we would have four categories and each category would have multiple subcategories. The first category would be the components. And we have already said that Angular is a component-based framework, so you can imagine that this is also the most important section of this course, since it's going to teach you the real fundamentals of this framework. In this section, you are going to learn what a component is, why the components are important, child and parent components and how these components can work with each other, the component life cycles, the best practices, and much more. The next section would be the templates section. In this section, we are going to learn about text interpolation, pipes, bindings, etc. The third section would be directives. In this section, we are going to learn about built-in directives, attribute directives, and also the structural directives. Last but not least, you are going to learn about dependency injection, which is a really useful concept when it comes to working with real data. And you'll work with real data in this course because we have said that we are going to learn how to use the IMDB API, which we are going to use to get the real data for our movies. You are going to also learn about concepts like routing, which is actually a really important concept because it helps you navigate in your app. You'll learn how to configure the route module, how to render the components based on the route URL, and how to listen for route changes and much more. Last but not least, you are going to learn how to authenticate users using the social media profiles like Google, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. You'll also learn how to protect certain URLs or certain routes using the auth guard. By the end of this course, you are going to also learn how to deploy an Angular application.